Hi, it's Craig Lewick with Scuttlebutt Sailing News. When the RC-44 class came to San Diego March 2nd to the 6th to begin their 2011 championship tour, one day I had the opportunity to join the Russian entry Katusha, which is led by American Paul Caird. Now, the regatta format has both match racing and fleet racing. And in the match racing, Paul is allowed to be at the helm. But for the fleet racing component, the owner steers. Now, for this event, the owner was not available, so the class rules allow for an owner's rep that has Category 1 amateur status. Now, Paul had recruited an uh, old friend of mine, Bob Little. Some of you may know him as Peaches. Now, on the power out, I had the opportunity to talk to Paul about his uh, selection of Bob and also uh, a recent change to Paul's uh, facial appearance. Here is the interview. We've got uh, Paul, Paul Caird here. He's, uh, he's, he's in pre-rest prep, putting on the sunscreen. And all the Southern Californians have, a, have one question in mind is, why did you choose Bob Little to fulfill? To fulfill, Thanks here's lot, Bob. Greg. Here's Bob Little. Why did you choose Bob Little to fulfill a uh, rule requirement? Because he learned how to sail from John Kilroy. He learned how to sail from John Kilroy. Right. And you sailed with John Kilroy. Yes. Is this John some, taught me how to sail also. Is there some kind of six connections of something here? Or? Well, we figured that if we got and Robbie Naismith learned how to sail from John Kilroy also, didn't you? Yeah. Kilroy right, taught you how to sail. No, so no, no. We're just a whole pro we're a group of people trying to live up to Kilroy's sta standards now down it's, here in it's, southern, it's, it's, southern California. Is it learning to sail from Kilroy or surviving Kilroy? Well, that's you know that's your spin on it there, Curmudgeon. I, oh, I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> we all, all right. are survivors. That, that's a fact also. Okay. But. All right, Paul, last question. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, how long have you had the mustache? How long had you had it? And uh, what was the motivation to remove it? I uh, had it for 32 years. And honestly, I just, I've just i been thinking about it for the last three years. Maybe it would be cool to see what it looks like without it. So I did it, and I, it was shocking to myself. It's been a couple months now, and I still I saw a picture of myself selling the AC-45 last week in New Zealand sitting next to Santiago Lang, and I said, Who, who's that guy sitting next to Santiago Lang? And then I realized it was myself. <laughs> well, it's good to see you still have a lip. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs>